I followed Wayne's gaze and let out a gasp of surprise. The front door had mysteri- mysteriously swung open. From where I stood, I could see only blackness beyond it, deep endless blackness. Precious dropped the web and crusted tree. How did the door open? She squealed. There must be someone inside. Rain snapped. But there isn't, Precious fired back. She was staring into the house, her body trembling with terror. I can't see anyone. Somebody must have opened it, Rain insisted. Doors don't just open themselves. Unless the house is haunted. I blurted out. Both girls gaped at me as though I had lost my mind. I jabbed an accusing finger at Rain. You said that being a murder in the house. That means it's haunted, right? Rain stamped her foot. Randall, I didn't say it was haunted. I told you about the murder, that's all. Don't you dare try to scare me. She stomped up the front steps and joined Precious by the open door. Above their head, cobwebs fluttered in a slight breeze. You'd better come away from there, I want. Let's go find some uh, spiderweb somewhere else. Nonsense, Rain turned her back and on me and took a step forward towards the front door. I can't see a thing in there. It's so dark. She moved closer to the open doorway and tapped her mouth with her hands. Hello, she called into the house. Hello? Nobody answered. She called again. Hello, is anybody there? Silence met her shouts. With an impatient shrug, she slipped into the gloom. Precious screamed with a lamb. Rain, come out here. Come out of there. You mustn't go in there alone. I bounded up the front steps. Reaching the open doorway, I peered into the house. It was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. But I could hear rain stumbling around. Rain, I yelled. Stop. Stop. Don't go any further. Don't be silly, she thought back from the darkness. It's perfectly safe. It's just an old house. I think there's a draft in here. That's why the front door blew open. I shed a nervous glance with precious. Then I snatched a deep breath and stepped inside the house. The darkness wrapped itself around me. My shoes crunched on something. Dead leaves? Bones? A moment later, Precious was by my side. I don't like it, she whispered. We shouldn't be in here, and if someone saw us coming in, what if they called the police? Suddenly, the thought of the police swooping in to arrest us was the last of our problems. With a loud bang, the front door slammed shut.